Good evening, Parkside East. Oh, okay, I'm not talking to myself. Good evening, Parkside East. All right, we need some energy, energy. My name is Kyra Boyd, and I am the Public Information Officer for the Winston-Salem Police Department. And I would like to formally welcome all of you, including Mayor Allen Joins, uh, Congresswoman Kathy Manning, our City Council, City Manager Lee Garrity, and any other elected officials and neighbors to Eastside Court in the Southeast Ward of the greatest city on earth, Winston-Salem. Yeah. <laughs> National Night Out is such an important event. But this year, gathering in the name of keeping our community safe means so much more. Our nation has been through so much over the past year, and to have the ability just to get together in the presence of other people while socially distancing, wearing a mask, of course, is such a good, good feeling. With that said, everyone sit back, relax, and enjoy your night because this is a celebration of community and collaboration. Continuing with the program, I'd like to introduce Pastor Ron Beatty, the Winston-Salem Police Department Chaplain, to give our invocation. Following Pastor Beatty will be greetings from John Andrews, Chair of Neighborhood Watch Group number 371. Thank you. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, what a wonderful occasion this is when the people of the community and people outside of the community and surrounding area, along with our local government officials, can come together in unison and enjoy this wonderful time together this evening. We thank you for the men and women who live in this community, who give of themselves to help assure in a better place for them and their children to live. And we thank you for our officials, our, especially our police department, who give of their lives each and every day to assure that this community and the city of Winston-Salem will be a better place to live because they patrol the streets. They give of themselves to assure this city being a better place for each and every one to live. We pray you bless our gathering this evening, bless the proceedings and all that's to follow, and we'll thank you for it because we ask in Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, we have a nice turnout tonight, and fortunately, I don't think we're going to get rained on. <laughs> I want to thank everybody in our community for not only coming here tonight, but helping to keep our community safe and sound. And. Uh, We'll have a couple extra guests here that we didn't know about. One of them is Eric Aft from the Second Harvest Food Bank. And you'll see a pickup down there. That's mine. Keep the canned goods coming because it's always in good need. We want to thank Everyone coming tonight, Mayor and Kathy, and that, that gives us a little bit of time to talk to them. If you have a problem, write them, whatever. And uh, so our next speaker is... The mayor. Yeah. Oh, you know. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Thank you, John. Good evening, everyone. 
for anybody that's got problems, Councilmember Taylor is handling all those tonight, <laughs> of course. <laughs> We're delighted to be here in the East Side Court. Thank you for hosting us this year. It's so good to be back in person. You know, last year was kind of a throwaway year. We weren't able to do this, and this is an event that I know I look forward to every year, and uh, it's so important for the safety of our city. Uh, in years past, uh, former council member Dan Bess and I used to leave this and race to see how many other neighborhood events we could make before the evening was over. Uh, we didn't race too fast. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but we're also just delighted to have our wonderful congresswoman Kathy Manning with us tonight, and I'll introduce her in just a moment. So uh, as was said, this is uh, extraordinarily important for the public safety of our city. We know that our police department can't do everything by themselves. You can't enforce things by yourself, but working collaboratively, we can really make a dent in crime here in our city. And we have a great partnership throughout our city and uh, certainly with our uh, Steve Griggs, who's the Neighborhood Watch Association president, we certainly appreciate all of your work. Well, my job's pretty simple tonight. I'm gonna to issue a proclamation, which I've been doing for about 20 years uh, since I've been mayor. Uh, tonight, the National Association of Town Watch, Academy Sports, Ring, First Net, and Starbucks are sponsoring National Night Out, a nationwide crime, drug, and violence prevention program. And whereas this 38th annual National Night Out provides the opportunity for Winston-Salem to join forces with thousands of other communities across the country to promote cooperative police community crime prevention efforts. And whereas local neighborhood watch groups support National Night Out 2021 and play a vital role in assisting the Winston-Salem Police Department through joint crime, drug, and violence prevention efforts. And whereas it is essential that all citizens of Winston-Salem be aware of the, the importance of crime prevention program and the impact that their participation can have on reducing crime, reducing drug use, and violence in our city. Now, therefore, I, J. Allen Joins, Mayor of the City of Winston-Salem, do hereby proclaim Tuesday, October 5th, 2021, as the 38th Annual National Night Out in Winston-Salem. And I call on all of our citizens to join the National Association of Town Watch, and I did sign this today. So, again, thank you all for being here and being a part of this and being a part of the uh, Neighborhood Watch program. It's my honor now to present to you Congresswoman uh, Kathy Manning, who is uh, representing us uh, from the 6th District, and we're glad to have her, and uh, she's going to have to excuse herself after she makes her comments, but we're just delighted to have her. Congresswoman. Thank you. Good, good evening, everyone. I am so glad to be here with you tonight. As the mayor said, I'm Congresswoman Kathy Manning. I'm so proud to represent North Carolina's 6th Congressional District. And I'm glad to be here to celebrate the National Night Out. Uh, together, yes, that deserves applause, thank you. Uh, together, as a community, we gather with our neighbors, our community organizations, and of course, our local police officers from the Winston-Salem Police Department to share in camaraderie. And I'd like to just say we also have our police chief here, how wonderful that is, that she took her time to be with us tonight. I'm really happy to see so many community partners here. I know everybody loves getting out and seeing people after what we've been through through the last uh, 18 months or so. Um, and, and also all the organizations that are here to help. If you need assistance, I encourage you to stop by the booths, talk to people who are here tonight, or if you need help afterwards, please reach out to my office. I'd like to introduce Salima Thomas, who is my district director, and we are here to help you, and Matt Schlosser, who is one of our caseworkers here. And uh, the, the motto of our office every day is, who did we help today? So we really are here to help the community. Our community is strong because of the people who participate in it. I'm grateful to every one of you, to our community partners, to our local law enforcement, for the compassion and the commitment that you all show to our communities. Together, we can make our neighborhoods safer. We can build upon what we have already accomplished together. So thank you for being a good neighbor. Thank you for caring for our community, and thank you for making me so proud to represent you in Congress. Thank you, Congresswoman. National Night Out isn't just happening right here in Eastside Court. This is an event that 38 million people across the nation have participated in, and it's occurred in nearly 16,000 communities nationwide. 
Tonight, the host site is here on Eastside Court, but as we speak, there are two other National Night Out celebrations occurring in our city. They are on the 1100 block of East 15th Street and the 3400 block of Healy Drive. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Mayor Pro Tem, Dee Dee Adams. <laughs> First of all, I apologize for being late. But I know you guys understand. I took that afternoon senior citizen nap. You know what happens when it rains when you get our age. You go like. <laughs> but thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for being engaged. Um, I want to thank not just you. I want to thank our police department, Winston-Salem PD, working. Come on, let's give it up. <laughs> To know that, like I tell people, you probably heard me say this, they like military people. You know, people in uniforms, they run to, the, to whatever the need is. They run. If it's a burning building, the firemen run. If somebody's being mishandled, mistreated, the police, they run. So I need you all to think about that for a minute, how every night, even before a day before they go home to their families and their neighborhoods, they're running to protect us and to make us safe every day. And what they need from us is some collaboration and partnerships. If you see something, say something. Don't take for granted that everything is all right just because your gut said for a second, ah, oh, well, maybe not. That maybe not may be the difference in saving someone's life as well as saving their lives. But it's night out. And unlike the past previous years, you know last year we couldn't have it. But look, you're here. We're here. We're still moving on. So with that again, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. I want to thank all the committee and the people that helped make this possible. And that we, as a city council in the city of Winston-Salem, we, we will never not fight for you, and we will never not fight for these guys that do public safely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem Adams. Now, I would like to welcome your councilman, representing the Southeast Ward, James Taylor, Jr. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Now this is my favorite part of the show. Uh, I give honor to the residents of the sensational Southeast Ward. And Parkside East is the one of the reasons why we're so sensational. Please, if you can join me in giving Parkside East a round of applause. Thank you for hosting us today. Now, while we've got you engaged, we're going to clap a few people up and we're going to give some honor here. Uh, we, we've already heard from our mayor and our congresswoman. We'll hear from our council people. but. I want to start with the brave men and women of the fire department led by Chief Mayo. If we can give them a round of applause for being with us today. Thank you for keeping us safe. And one of the main reasons we are here today is to celebrate a group of women and men who work tirelessly and show lots of bravery to keep us safe. And that is the brave men and women of the police department led by Chief Thompson. Let's give them a round of applause. I won't be before you long. I just want to say thank you for what you do in our community. Uh, National Night Out is a time where we come together and we stand vigilant, we stand tall, and we say that we will not tolerate crime, drugs, and violence in our communities. Before I take my seat, I just want to leave you with a charge that we just heard from the mayor pro temp. When you see something, mm -hmm. say something. When you know something, say something. Mm -hmm. I'll say it one more time. It's very simple. When you see something, say something. And when you know something, say something. The good word, Reverend, tells us that evil tends to prosper when good people, good men, good women are silent. Amen. We haven't been silent, and we will no longer be silent as communities are ravaged by crime, drugs, and violence. Now, we don't have that problem in Parkside East because I know I get the phone calls, and when they see something, they will say something. But we need other communities to step forward and not tolerate crime and violence in our communities. And that's what National Night Out yes. is all about. Yes. So on behalf of the residents of the sensational Southeast Ward, 
and on behalf of the Public Safety Committee for the City of Winston-Salem, I want to thank each and every one of you for what you do to help our city to be a better place to live, work, and relax. Enjoy National Night Out, and thanks for hosting us. Thank you, Councilman Taylor. Next, please join me, join me in welcoming Councilwoman Annette Scipio. Good evening, it's so good to be here. Uh, though I'm East Ward representative, one of the things we must always remember is Winston-Salem is one large community. So though I live on the east side, James is here on the southeast, and Mayor Pro Tem is the north. We know people everywhere. The good news is that this street is a place that I've visited often. Um, Mother Mildred Hess used to live right down this street. She bought that house when it was first built. So we move around our beautiful city all the time. So we're no strangers to any particular street. I'm familiar with almost all the streets. I just love to go and explore, and I've been here a long time. So um, that's what I do. But community is essential to any safety in our community. I want you to think about that word community. The last letters of that word is U-N-I-T-Y, which is unity, being on one accord. And you know when that starts for neighborhoods? It starts in every home. It starts with parents teaching their children what's really of value and significance. What will keep our neighborhoods safe? And when one resident tells another resident and the other one hears it and going on down that street, all of a sudden, everybody is on one accord. And when we're on one accord, we can accomplish anything. So as we celebrate here on the southeast side, we're celebrating all over our city. Help us, join us in making our whole city a city of unity with strong values that includes public safety. And I celebrate our police department and our fire department. Since I've been on the council, going on three years, I have learned that we have some magnificent employees. They work for us to keep us safe to take care of our tragedies, to hold us up when things aren't going so well. They do that from the heart. They are being paid, but they do it from a heart, for love for you. And I can say that because I felt that from our officers and our fire, firemen. So don't take them for granted. Love on them every time you see them, because they're working for you 24 hours a day, helping to keep all of our neighborhoods safe, even the most challenging neighborhoods. So tonight, let us celebrate for all of Winston-Salem and all of our policemen and all of our firemen. In honor of you, thank you all, our wonderful public servants. Thank you, Councilwoman Scipio. Are there any other council members present who are not listed on the program who would like to speak? I don't know if anyone else walked up. Okay, thank you. And I would like to also acknowledge our city manager, Lee Garrity, and the Winston-Salem Fire Chief, Trey Mayo. Please join me in welcoming Winston-Salem Police Chief, Katrina Thompson. Good evening, Parkside East. 
I'd like to take a moment to discuss how important neighborhood watch groups are to the Winston-Salem Police Department. The strong relationships that your groups have with our department is a crucial piece in keeping our neighborhoods and streets safe. Your proven support assisting the police department daily by reporting crimes, being involved in your neighborhoods, being on alert for suspicious activity, and supporting the police department's community events is what makes National Night Out a success for everyone. We as citizens of Winston-Salem need to continue our tenacity and focus to increase neighborhood watch groups just like yours in all parts of our city. This will benefit everyone and will be an important part in the continuing efforts to reduce crime citywide. The Winston-Salem Police Department needs your continued help in reducing crime and this is the way we succeed together. Over the past year, we've seen more gun violence involving young people. This is a nationwide trend, but it stands true right here in our own city of Winston-Salem. We have got to begin to take more effective steps to keep all our communities safe. This doesn't just mean the community in which you live, but I'm talking about our schools, our parks, and neighborhoods around our city. National Night Out is the one time a year where all neighborhood watch groups citywide come together to get outside and let everyone know we are here standing together and fighting against crime in our city. This event shows how strong the relationship is with the community, law enforcement, and city government in taking a hard stance against crime. It is also a great time for people to meet the officers who work in their areas and to have conversations about any issues within the community that needs our attention. This year's event is special because it's our first time back together face to face since 2019. I would like to personally thank Neighborhood Watch Group 371 and the neighbors of Parkside East for hosting such a wonderful opening event. We have two other host sites, as, as was mentioned earlier. I want to thank the people who hosted those events as well. As your police chief, I will close with ensuring you that the Winston-Salem Police Department is committed to National Night Out, Neighborhood Watch, and continuing to foster strong relationships with members of our community in an effort to reduce crime across our city while urging for an increase in other neighborhood watch groups. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Chief Thompson. Now I'd like to welcome a couple of members from our Neighborhood Watch Association. Please welcome Neighborhood Watch Association President Steve Griggs, followed by Chair of the National Night Out Planning Committee, Regina Hall. Thank you so much. Welcome to each one of you and thank you for being a part of NNO uh, 2021. Uh, as has been mentioned, uh, it's great to finally get back together personally instead of virtually. Let me begin by th thanking uh, Chief Thompson, uh, Neighborhood Watch Coordinator Officer Costner, uh, Sergeant uh, Thomas Day, the whole uh, resources, um, uh, community resources uh, team that comes together to produce this event, and, and every one of the uh, officers present here and serving um, with uh, the police department. First of all, thanking them for their tremendous service to us uh, in protecting and serving um, and, and ensuring our safety. Also, secondarily, for producing this fine event and uh, being available to do so. 
Also, special thanks to uh, John Andrews and his neighborhood watch group uh, here in Parkside who have done just a tremendous job uh, of, of uh, and, it's, and it's hard work, folks. It's hard work to put this together. So we appreciate it so much, and uh, they're hosting the event. At times, division, uh, it's, it seems so pervasive in our society. And National Night Out and the core concept behind Neighborhood Watch becomes even more important at those times. What is, in, instead of just being education about crime prevention, first of all, as we all know, we have to open our minds and hearts to receive information. Uh, because of that, I see our role as a, uh, in addition to collaborating with the police department as an association, basically our role is to tear down walls and build bridges in its place. In his poem, Mending Wall, Robert Frost, one of America's cherished uh, poets, writes this. Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that wants it down. We have a lot of walls right now. The poem considers two differing viewpoints about division. One is, good fences make good neighbors. The other is, why do we need fences in the first place? The guiding principle of Neighborhood Watch is to foster and strengthen a, a culture of trust, mutual support, and open communication between citizens and law enforcement, welcoming and encouraging engagement by all diverse communities to come together working in a spirit of co collaboration to make Winston-Salem a safer community in which to live. Now, you're seeing that tonight. What we need to do is have your assistance to spread the word not only across Winston-Salem, but everywhere to create a situation where we don't focus on walls, but understanding. I can think of no better example of, of this principle than this National Night Out celebration. And I thank you so much for being here. Um, and I hope you'll be safe out there and enjoy your evening. Thanks so much. Hello, Parkside East. Yeah. Woohoo! Welcome to our eighth National Night Out. Can you all believe that? It has been eight years since we first started gathering together to take a crime, to take a stance against crime and joining all of our neighbors across the country in doing that. This is our first time being selected as a host site. All the years that we thought that our name was going to get drawn, and it never did, but it did this time, so we finally did it. Yeah. Woohoo! I am going to be um, giving special thanks to our sponsors who helped make tonight possible. Before I go into that, I want to make sure that everyone was able to sign in at our registration table. When you did that, you should have received a yellow food ticket with Chick-fil-A, and you also should have received a red uh, raffle ticket. Does everyone have that? If you do not, you have a few more minutes to get that before we begin drawing for our first prize, which is uh, 2022 baseline tickets to the Winston-Salem Dash baseball games. Um, Special thanks to Chick-fil-A. This is Chick-fil-A on Size Branch Road. Please support them when you have an opportunity. Uh, we do have Chick-fil-A sandwiches and uh, nuggets. If you have already received your bag, I do believe that there's plenty more. Our dignitaries, you're also welcome to that before you leave. Also, we want to give a special thanks to Lowe's Foods, who has been a uh, consistent partner over the past eight years of this event. And so we thank them for being a corporate sponsor. 
We also want to thank um, all of our guests who chose um, to be here with us tonight. We know that time is one of those things that you cannot get back. So we appreciate you spending time with us tonight. Um, we also have Bill Hearn and Sheila Hearn over here with JB on the Rocks who are providing our DJ services. Please give them a round of applause. They do this for us every year pro bono and do not send the HOA an invoice. So thank you for that. Um, also, this year we are continuing with our food drive, so we are having a party with a purpose. Uh, you do see the uh, truck that is down there that says Parkside East Food Drive. This is something that we will continue to do year after year, um, and we appreciate John Andrews, our leader, for being visionary for that. Um, the canned foods will go to... Second Harvest Food Bank, and they do so much in our community, and we are thankful to have the CEO of Second Harvest Food Bank, Eric Aft, that's here. I'm going to ask that Eric will come forth for just a couple of remarks, and after that, we will ask Bill if you could get something queued up for us so we can start the music. You all know how we do, so we'll have a little bit of music, and I will draw the first two names. Eric? Thank you, Regina. Appreciate being out here. At Second Harvest, we talk about food being foundational. Whether it's our kids having that need to have nutrition to be able to succeed in school, or really every single one of us, that we need that nutrition to be successful in life. But we also know what is foundational is public safety. And at Second Harvest, we want to thank the leadership um, and all the officers of the Winston-Salem Police Department. We want to thank the Winston-Salem Fire Department for their leadership and dedication to keeping us all safe. We also know that leadership is foundational. So I want to thank Mayor Pro Tem Adams, uh, Council Member uh, Taylor, Councilwoman Scipio, um, and everyone who gives of their time. Your dedication to us by this food drive ensures that we can respond to, unfortunately, the, tr the challenge of hunger in our community that is all too present with one in five of our children facing uncertainty about where their next nutritious meal is coming from and one in six of all of us who face that challenge. But you are making a difference. We want to thank you for stepping up your leadership and making sure that we can do our job every single day. And again, thank you for being part of this National Night Out. And again, thank you to our wonderful police force and fire department. Thank you very much.